Hello there, Internet, and welcome back to another Metroidvania game covered as part of my Steam Next Fest June 2022 coverage. This time we are playing Astronaut, which is a very lo-fi Metroidvania that I've uh, I've had some encounters with in the past. I've not played it yet, but I've seen it. So I, I, I know of it. Uh, things you should know. I'm playing this demo in a 1080p window in the middle of the screen. Because if I do this... It, for some reason... Oh, no. Is it going to work now? Interesting. Now that I've started recording... It's actually working. Um, I'm a little bit worried about how fast the things in the background are blinking. Because there's no V-Sync option. And if there's no V-Sync option in a really lo-fi 2D game, playing on a 3090, <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. We'll see what it's like anyway. Let's get into it. Nice little chip tunes. Ship 2410 here, establishing contact with Central. I'm nearing Neplia. Central Command here. You may proceed with mission 2205. Check your equipment and land in a safe in a safe area. Neplia, as you know, used to be our home a long time ago. In the year 7002, the new era, we discovered a living entity in the centre of our planet. Our scientists studied it for a long time. Nobody knew its origins, and all of our research could not make light of its composition or where it came from. This is really difficult to read when it's scrolling. That's why we call it the unknown. What's clear is that the entity had its own thoughts and reacted to stimuli. Little by little, the unknown was growing bigger and stronger. It had, yeah, this is really hard on the ice. It had such a of the powers. It's powered so much that in the end, we lost control. It escaped and for months assembled an army of beasts under its influence that ended up taking over our planets. We had to run away. Since then, we have sent explorers to inform us of the current situation of Nephia. None have managed to make contact with us or come back to tell us. The objective is... to not die. What's going on? Something hit the ship! Ship 2410, losing control. Something hit the ship. I shall proceed with an emergency landing. What is with the random apostrophes before and after things? The controls are not responding. Yet yeah, this is really hard on the eyes. The the shaking of white text on black. First things first, I honestly think your game should come with an epilepsy warning at the start. I'm not epileptic, but the number of flashing lights so far has been significant. Okay. Here we are in game. And as you can see, we, it is an entirely, at least as far as I'm aware, it is an entirely monochromatic game. We've got a dash on right bumper, which has, oh, there's a cooldown in the top left hand corner. We've also got we've got a jetpack on our double jump, oh, on our jump button. So if you press jump again in the air, we jetpack. We can fire in the four cardinal directions. Let's go. Jump tutorial. Room one. That tutorial disappeared far too quickly. Jump and hold A to use the jetpack. That's not how it works. Jump and hold A again. To use the jetpack. Yes. But jump and hold A does not. I'm 
We've got a timer in the corner. I assume that told us how to drop down through platforms. What was that? Okay. This X to shoot. Okay, we can uh, shoot down when we're in the air. I have shot the orbs and opened the door. Ancient ruins. Question, is there... Interesting, we can put a, uh, a, a screen shader on. I don't normally like CRT shaders in games, but this might actually work in our favour. Because it will break up the whiteness. Which I think is going to be an issue. Okay, we've got a map. Looks like there was a room over there that... Uh, oh, yes, in fact, we knew there was a way down. Brings up a little tune when you've got the map on. That's a choice. This looks like a boss arena. H Hello. Remember, I was wondering how long... How long they would take to send somebody. I see. Let me take a look at you. This reminds me of the nightmare from Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. You must know it won't be easy. Perhaps you aren't ready. There is only one way to know. Who are you? Someone like you, with a goal. I won't stop until I achieve it. Huh? Ha ha ha. This is only the beginning, but... It's the end of the road for you. <coughs> what the hell's happened? Ah, my stuff is gone. I have to find them if I'm to accomplish this mission. Oh no! We have been abilitized. We have no gun. We have no dash. We have no jetpack. Well. I guess we are stuck. Okay. So we get three hits. That's what the, uh, the bar in the corner stands for. Uh, trying to jump here do, it, it doesn't make it look like we did we just take fall damage hold on I need to check this we do we take fall damage I mean, we definitely take fall damage in spikes because, you know, spikes. Um, fall damage in a Metroidvania. That's a thing. Whoa. There we go. My gun! Where? Oh, there, in the middle. There it is. I have to go take it. Oh. Yoink! Hey! My god, give it back. Exclamation marks! You only need one after any exclamation. Okay. 
Okay, they are difficult to get past. This looks like we need a key. What a weird gate. Seems it doesn't open. Perhaps if I keep exploring, I'll find a way to open it. Perhaps. Is that a key mark or is it a lever? Uh, we're going to hit the spikes if we try that jump. So for now, we're in kind of a stealth mode. I don't think... Shoot! I can't go this way until I turn back my gun. I'll keep exploring. Um, don't really think you needed that to prompt there. I kind of figured that out on my own. Hey, wait, that's mine. I'm very cognizant of the fact that we've got no... Plains of Imud. I assume there's going to be a save point around here. Probably down this well. Yes. Uh. There we go. Don't know what I did. That... Very weird. Very weird. Oh, a fog gate. Uh, hello, giant brick enemy. Weapon obtained. You can now eliminate enemies and destroy certain objects. It's our first boss fight. I'm Kronk and I must destroy the intruder. What the hell? Who are you? He's Kronk. I'm Kronk. I must destroy... I'm not looking for trouble. I'm Kronk. This doesn't look too good. Besides, my gun isn't 100% functional. I will destroy you. Uh, okay, so we've got contact damage, but zip. We've got contact damage, but we've got zero avoidance abilities. We've got no dash or anything. And we have to watch this cutscene every time. Yes, Funk, I were. There we go. Um, that felt a little bit weird without any kind of avoidance, but it's doable, obviously. I have to be careful. Things are getting nasty. Damn it. How could you have defeated Kronk, you insignificant worm? You got lucky. Next time will be different. Wait, who are you? <laughs> Oh, okay. End of the demo. Short, but sweet. Um, oh, there is an ep epilepsy warning. I just didn't see it. Yes, I... Mm. 
because of the the nature of it being very white on black that could be an issue uh at least it, it, it's got a proper save at least so yeah there's not a lot we can do oh we even lose our map um th th there's not a lot i can say or or, or, or do then realistically in that um decent pixel art nice abilities um i i know nothing about the game and to be honest 15 minutes hasn't really been quite enough of the game to form any particular opinions on it that it was so it hasn't how do i right all products video games included need a usp a unique selling point in order to differentiate themselves in order to stand out from the pack i don't know what this game's usp is there's there's not been enough game presented in the demo for me to get hyped about it so far the only real impression that i've been able to create of the game is that it hurts my eyes trying to read its text uh that's not a selling point that's that's a negative um and i i suspect that will that will continue throughout it might be that this crt filter actually helps out with that but overall pure white text on black is only good if it's moving very slowly or it's moving at your pace as controlled for example on a kindle or something like that when it's scrolling as it did in the intro for this that just hurt my eyes keep in mind i do wear glasses but i've got no color blindness or epilepsy or anything like that it just it just because of the blur on a high refresh rate monitor i think but yeah, I, I, I mean, it, it, it's perfectly functional. You know, the, the boss fight felt a little bit clunky because of not knowing what kind of jump the enemy was going to do. Um, but I, I didn't really get a, enough combat to, to, to get an inkling of what the the, the combat in the, in the game was going to be like. So there's not a lot that I can offer in terms of either recommendation or steer clear or, or whatever on that. I just don't think the demo was long enough to really give us a decent enough slice of the pie, so to speak, in terms of this is Astronite and this is, this is what it is offering you. So, um, yeah, try that one out for yourself and see what you think. Short and simple so far. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this this tiny slice of Astronites. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it, if you've tried it. Do you think it looks decent? Did I miss something major that would have dramatically enhanced the experience for me? I don't really know. Thank you for watching. Do please like, subscribe, all the algorithmical fun stuff, and I'll catch you all in the next Next Fest demo. Bye. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.